Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at the image editor with the Chromebook, and this is the built-in image editor. Um, there is a lot of people who feel that you can't Im edit images as much on the Chromebook as you can on a PC or a Mac, which is true to an extent if you're into really extensive extensive um, image editing then you may struggle but there are lots of android apps out there that you know are, are closing the gap basically so you can do a lot more with a chromebook for image editing that you could than you could previously um, today we will be looking at the actual inbuilt image editor because there's a bit you can do on that and i don't think many people realize so to get to it, it's quite easy. If you just open up the file explorer down here, if you don't have the file explorer on your bar here, just go to start there and we should come across it somewhere. I think I put it away somewhere. Here we go, it's in our system. Whether system was set up by Google or I've set this up, I really can't remember. So you just need to look for files anyway and click on there and then find the file that you want to edit. So I've just downloaded this image from the internet. And all you need to do is just double click on the image and that opens up the Chromebook image editor. Now from here, you've got the file name there. You've obviously got the picture there. You've got a slideshow there. So if you've got lots of images in that folder and you click on that slideshow, they'll all start playing. Um, this here would show you all of the images if you had lots of images in the folder, which is good. So you can easily select the one that you want. Get that to go back there. There's the delete button. So you can delete a file, you can print a file. But the one that we're interested in is this one here. And this lets you edit the image. So click on that. And a few things you'll see down here. The first one here is overwrite original. This all depends how confident you are. Um, at first, I'd probably recommend not to do that. Um, I do overwrite originals now because what I'll find is I'll have images that I edit, I'll leave them, and then I've got a duplicate image of everything, the original and the edited version. You may want that. If you do, then all you need to do, if you click on overwrite original, any edits you make in here will overwrite the original. Um, if you leave it off, then it will make an extra copy. So you, you've always got that original to go back to, which I think may be the best thing if you if you just start now editing the images using the default image editor. And then down the bottom here, we've got crop, we've got resize, brightness and color and you've got left and right and what that does it lets you change the rotation of the image and there's undo and there's a redo as well so if we go to this one first which is brightness click on there you've got the brightness and the contrast and you can change that to whatever you Want it to be if something's too dark, as you can see there. Now, if you're happy with whatever you've done, you just click on done. Or if you're not happy, I'm not happy. I think it was fine how it was. This particular image, just press cancel, and it will go back to how it was. Um, the crop's a good one there. Click on crop, and if you don't want the whole image, you could crop the image. So let's just say like that, press done, and then that's cropped. Until you exit, it won't, you know, actually save that. And then resize is a good one as well. Certainly if you work on websites and you need a certain image size because the resize is quite important for that. So if you click on that and you've got the resize, now here you've got the width and you've got the height. So the width and the height. And this padlock is quite important. So at the moment, it's on fixed ratio. And what that means is if I change this width to 780, 
which is my um, ideal width for my particular website, you can see the height changes as you change it. And the reason why you want that is it keeps the dimensions fixed for the picture. So if we press done, although it's a much smaller picture, it's still in this, you know, it still looks the same as such. If you did it the other way, so if we undo that and you click on resize and you took the padlock off. So at the moment, the padlock's fixed, so take it off. And then if you change that to 780, it's leaving the height at 895, and that would look rather bizarre like that, as you can see. You can, of course, still take off the padlock and change it to what you want if you want it exactly a certain size. So I, I have to have it as a width of 780. I'm not too fussed about the height, but at the same time, I wouldn't want it to be, you know, a ridiculously high image compared to the width. So you can change this yourself, which is absolutely fine to do. The only thing you do need to bear in mind, it won't necessarily look exactly the same as the original image. And that's really it. That's how you use the built-in image editor. As you can see, it's not, you know, it's not got all of the functions that you may use, but if you all you need is something just to crop images or resize images, change the color and the contrast a little bit, change the rotation of the image, then, you know, it's absolutely perfectly fine. If you exit that, as you can see there, there's two images because we didn't say that we wanted to select overwrite. Close that down, open it up, and you've got the two images. That, I believe, is the original. and no, that's the edited version. So it's got their edited. Now let's you know where the original is. If you click on one of them now, you'll have two of these images. Because there's two images there, you'll have this here, so you can go from one to the other. And if you clicked on this here, you would see the two images. And that lets you easily choose between the both as well. Okay, so I hope that helps and please like the video if it did and also if you're interested in seeing other videos about how to use the Chromebook, Chrome OS and Android apps, please subscribe to the channel.